He'll be upon him. But if you analyze closely, it's not Allah Muhammad, it's Allah Muhabbah. God is love. Allah Muhabbah. God is love. It's actually a quotation they pick up from the Bible and they write it in the Arabic calligraphy. I don't know if we have posters of duas, etc. So one such beautiful poster, beautiful color. Four color job. Rabbana, Rabbana. And then you say, oh Rabbana, then automatically in the front will come, Atina, Fid Dunya, Hasnaton, Filakira. You know, it's, it's mechanical. The moment you read Rabbana, so you think, oh, it's a dua. Four color job, beautiful. When I saw it the first time, I thought, oh, the Muslim world is advancing. Alhamdulillah, Muslim world is advancing. Beautiful. And when you ask a person, even who knows Arabic, he may be an ulama, he may be an Arab, born Arab. Even he will read Allah Muhammad, or he may read Rabbana Atina. But if you analyze closely, it is Abbana, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, in Arabic. In Arabic. Abbana. You know, they write in such a way that it can easily be mistaken for Abbana Atina. And Muslims keep it in the drawing room and they distribute free of charge. And if we happen to sell this also, suppose if you go for Hajj, and in Hajj if you sell for one one real, 99% will buy, 99.9% .9 will buy it. It's a snake in the house. It's a snake in the house. Any Arabic thing we see, we think it's a kalam of Allah Ta'ala, we sit and keep it. We should not cause disrespect to it. They are in the field. We should not use these techniques. These are deceitful techniques. Quran says in Surah Isra chapter 17 verse 81, وَقُلْ جَعَ الْحَقُ وَزَاقَ الْبَاطِلِ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ كَانَ زَهُوكَ When truth is heard like in falsehood, falsehood perishes. For falsehood is by its nature bound to perish. We don't have to use the deceitful techniques, but we have to understand that these people, they are using technology, they are using media, not only to propagate their faith, even to undermine Islam, to malign Islam, to catch fish. Do you know, in the span of last 150 years, there were 60,000 books written against Islam and our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 60,000! In the last 150 years, 60,000 books were written against Islam and our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We, I doubt if Muslims have written so many books in English language to promote Islam, I doubt. It's a shame on us. We are far behind. And do you know that the Bible, which is supposed to be the holy scripture of the Christian, of the Western world, do you know that according to last year's statistics, they have translated the Bible into 2,032 different languages. 2,032 different languages. That was the status more than one to one and a half year back. Now I don't know what's the latest. 2032 different languages. Do you know how many languages the Holy Quran has been translated in? Do you know? Can anyone guess? Can anyone guess? How many languages? How many? Can anyone guess? No one can guess also. It's a shame. We don't even know. Leave aside, we have translated. We don't even know. Muslims don't even know how many languages our glorious Quran. The Kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been translated in. Hardly 100 languages, maybe little more than 100 languages. Only. And the Christian missionaries, they say, that even after translating the Bible into 2,032 different languages, yet they only reach 80% of the world. Only 80%. Now imagine with 100 languages, how many percent of the world are we reaching? 100 means hardly 5% of 2,000. It's a shame on us. Little bit more than 100. That's also recently. A few decades earlier, it was negligible. It's recently in the past few years that we have translated various languages. And the Christian missionary, do you know, only in Arabic, they have translated the Bible in 11 different dialects. Different for the Egyptian, different for the Saudi. 11 different dialects in Arabic alone. Catching fish. 11 different dialects. In Arabic alone. Different, different. Because Arabic is one, but different, different styles is there. We have not even translated the Quran. 
very few recently the english translation also came just recently the first english translation was done by a non muslim maligning islam in latin then by george sell translated from there and then we muslim woke up oh they are maligning islam and then we make an effort it's a shame on us if you analyze the periodical non electronic media talking about annual periodicals biannually quarterly or monthly how many international islamic magazines do we have how many how many yes we know of muslim world league impact international juma i doubt whether any of you may have heard few may have heard about this majority may not have heard it's unknown only those who are in the field but there are very few very few but even these magazines that are there it mainly goes to the muslims if you analyze the christian missionary plain truth have you heard about plain truth who has not heard about plain truth raise up your hand who has not heard of the magazine plain truth plain truth plain truth 1 2 3 4 5 5 maybe 10 5 i could have got 10 only 10 people did not hear about plain truth that means more than 90% of the audience know about plain truth plain truth how many heard about the juma magazine it's the islamic magazine one two how many people heard about the impact international supposed to be very good one two three four five six seven eight yet it's a shame see the international magazines of muslim umma supposed to be the best horizon muslim world league maximum circulation less than five percent of the muslim know and the non-muslim plain truth which is distributed free of charge in millions of copies less than 5% don't know this is the situation it's a shame on us you know plain truth they give free free millions of copies it's a missionary magazine and the more articles that they take out with expertise they have the best of writers there the best quality of paper you find four color job and besides this plain truth goes to more non christian than christians the muslim magazine go more to muslim than very few non muslims majority complementary are also and if you analyze even in the local magazines we have several local magazines and even in india the best that i know of which has the maximum circulation is islamic voice there are also hardly 15000 and the person sadatullah khan sahab brother sadatullah khan is a close friend of mine he's from bangalore he's doing a wonderful job wonderful job may allah give him jazaak khair but yet compared to the western world no way it's one of the best monthly newspaper or magazine you want to call it it has the maximum circulation the others which are running for 10 years 20 years 5000 6000 some 2000 some 1000 shame on us 20 years of operating nothing no results and majority of these papers also go to muslims 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 at least islamic why i'm told that more than 3000 go to non muslims alhamdulillah but even in these islamic magazines that we have it only gives a picture of islam which is important but if you see the magazines run by christian missionaries they beside promoting christianity they do in a subtle way they even give you day to day knowledge So even if you are not interested in Christianity, you will take the magazine to know what's happening in the world, and then indirectly you are being inoculated with their message. You know Time magazine? Who doesn't know Time magazine out here? See everyone knows Newsweek. Who doesn't know? Everyone knows. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Time magazine is a weekly magazine, supposed to be neutral, supposed to be, supposed to be neutral, and supposed to be unbiased. But you can see the material that's there. it's bombarding the muslims attacking islam i am in mean, sheikh dida you may have heard of sheikh ahmed dida alhamdulillah he's not well at present may allah give him shifa he wanted to give an ad future world constitution future world constitution it was the advertisement of the glorious quran sheikh dida wanted to pay whatever the normal charge is he wanted to pay for a full page in the time magazine and the time magazine refused the advertisement imagine the refused a paid advertisement from ipci islamic propaganda center international because it was promoting quran can you believe supposed to be neutral supposed to be unbiased the time magazine refused saying 
we are allowed to refuse any advertisement 